Hey everyone, happy new year and welcome back to Five Minutes or Less. Last year, we used the first two episodes of this series to discuss the privacy sandbox. If you haven't watched those episodes yet, check them out. Today, we'll cover first party data solutions for publishers. We believe first party data is poised to play an important role in the future of digital advertising and we'll share why. All right, let's get started. The first thing to tackle is defining what we mean when we say first party data. Now, first party refers to the one-to-one -one direct relationships between two parties. First party data is the information that you learn through those direct relationships with people who visit and engage with your site or app. There's a wide range of the types of information you may learn from people. For example, it could be as personal as an email address that someone provides when they sign up for a newsletter, or it could be as simple as understanding the pages someone has visited on your site. On to question two, how does first party data differ from third party data? This is important. It's the reason why the ad industry is investing more in privacy forward first party data and moving away from third party data. Now there are two main differences. First, who is collecting the data? First party data is captured and stored by the website or app owner. Third-party data is commonly collected across multiple sites that aren't owned by the businesses doing the collecting. The second difference is transparency. With first-party data, people give businesses they have direct relationships with permission to use their data, and the businesses are responsible for how the data is used. In contrast, third-party data can be collected and used often without people fully knowing how their data is being activated. Now, of course, relevant privacy laws apply to first and third party data alike, which is why it's so important to have clear privacy policies in place so people know exactly what data they're sharing and how you intend to use it. On to question three, which is the focus of this episode. Why is first party data important? Well, publishers first party data is important because it's an effective and privacy forward alternative to identifiers that track users across the web. In short, first party data can help advertisers reach their audiences with relevant and useful ads while also respecting people's privacy preferences. With third party cookies and data going away, you have an opportunity to increase the value of your inventory by adding rich signals to the ad campaigns you deliver. All right, on to question four. How can publishers use their first party data to grow advertising revenue? For starters, every publisher has first party data. In fact, you probably use it today to monitor your web and app analytics and to understand which content is generating the most traffic. If you are, that's great. But how can you proactively use first party data to grow ad revenue? Let's break this into two parts. The first thing you could do is use contextual signals based on the topics of your content to build audience segments. Then you can sell those premium segments directly to advertisers looking to reach those people. Every publisher can start doing this today in Google Ad Manager using our key value functionality. You can learn more here. Second, if you're looking to develop a more holistic view of an individual user, we recommend exploring first party identifiers. By adding a unique identifier and storing it in a first party cookie, you'll be able to understand users activity on your site or app over time. Your identifiers can be based on things such as a user's email address or even a random unique number. Because first party identifiers have a longer history than contextual signals, you'll be able to develop more impactful insights. And those insights lead to more attractive audiences for advertisers and better ad experiences for users. If you're interested in getting started with first party identifiers, check out our latest blog post below. And that's all the time we have today. We'll be back to talk more soon. Looking forward to it.